Dr. Somnath, I wanted to ask you, uh, going forward, uh, what is the progress that has been made on the Gaganyaan mission, uh, the Mangalyaan mission, and the Adityaan or the solar mission? Now, coming to the Aditya mission, which is now scheduled to happen next month, uh, the spacecraft uh, is going to be placed in a play location called Adi L1, Lagrangian 1. It's a point between Earth and Sun where we want to move the spacecraft. The spacecraft is fully integrated. It has already gone to our launch station and going to be integrated with the rocket. And we are trying to schedule the launch by the first week of September. And it will take another 120 days plus to reach that L1 after the launch. And uh, after reaching there, we will be making the observations of the sun for next five years or so to study the sun in deeper ways. Now coming to the Gaganyan is uh, basically a mission to send human beings, Indians, to space and bring them back safely. Uh, and for that, uh, we have been working for the last uh, six, five years or so. And uh, we have achieved certain milestones uh, in the last many years, the, one of them being the, the rocket, which is uh, supposed to send human beings, the GSLV Mar 3 called LVM3, is now fully human rated. And we have accomplished uh, some missions with the human rated elements. Then the crew module, the crew escape system, and various elements for have been completely designed. And we are in the production of them. The first mission with the crew module, crew escape system, will be launched in one of the test flights coming September or maybe in the early October to prove the crew module and the crew escape system functioning in a very in a, in a flight condition which is almost close to the speed of sound. Then we, this process will continue for some time until we do the first unmanned mission at the beginning of next year. And we have to follow up that with further missions, uh, unmanned missions. Then we'll have the final manned mission. So Gaganyan is uh, on the track. Of course, it has made a lot of delays in the, la in the last many years because of the complexities of the technology and also the acquisition of the technology we wanted for, to achieve from other nations. And you are aware of the geopolitical situations, the COVID, the, 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 the chip crunch, everything put us in a very tight spot to achieve those targets. I think that is well understood. But we are also increasing the number of tests and evaluations so that the very first flight, uh, we minimize the risk. Dr. Somnath, uh, Atmanirbhar Bharat has uh, got a major push uh, uh, through the Chandrayaan-3 launch. Uh, and the budget for this uh, project was uh, uh, $74 million. Uh, some Hollywood films like Interstellar uh, and others uh, have been made at double this uh, budget. Uh, how, much, how much of uh, this Atmanirbhar effort can be replicated in the future missions as well? Say being a frugal engineering or doing it at a very low cost uh, has many elements. One, of course, is Arpanur uh, Parada, that is build everything in, in India and then do it. But this is not a, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a condition that we have to apply for very specific goals. One, everything cannot be built in India, and that is not necessary. First and foremost is that we must do all the high-tech items in India. And we should not be dependent on somebody to dictate terms with us in terms of accomplishing missions like this. So that we have to accomplish. For example, the rocket which you are building, almost 95% of the rocket is actually sourced from Indian companies and Indian industries, which itself is a great thing. Uh, for spacecraft, it is still 50%. Uh, and almost 50% of the cost of the satellite is still imported, especially those uh, electronic chips, which are very high-end uh, uh, space-qualified chips, which are not manufactured in India. And the move, move by the government to increase the silicon-based uh, industry, chip manufacturing in, in India, is a welcome move. And slowly, I think we will pick up that momentum and create uh, a lot of products in India which will support the space sector. And that we are looking for uh, this value of the percentage of Indian components in space to reach almost uh, 80%. But there is yet another area called the, uh, the service sector on ground equipment, etc. These are still uh, imported in a large manner in the last many years. But there is, uh, there is a big winds of change is happening in this sector. Many of the equipments, which are ground equipments for space-based uh, communication, remote sensing, are uh, now made in India, and it is slowly increasing in terms of its uh, revenue, etc., which is also a welcome thing to happen. So Alpandar Parada is happening in India. Uh, in the high-end, high-technology area, it, is, it has uh, very well established in rocketry, but in spacecrafts and sensors and various other elements for these missions, we still have to uh, walk a long way and we are on the right track right now.